Okay, I'm coming from your floor and today I'm going to talk to you how to upset the four bees in school. Be ready. Be ready means you have to wash your hands and get ready for your learning. Be safe. Be safe means keeping your distance as much as you can as we all need to keep, keep our distance and look after each other. Be respectful. Kind hands, kind feet and kind words and also listen to your teacher. Be your best. Always working hard to do your best and seek challenges. Today to tell you how to represent the four bees. First, be ready. Be ready to listen and learn. Next, be safe. Be, be safe, wash your hands and stay to your year group. Next is be respectful. Be respectful and listen to your friends and class teacher. And my favourite one, be your best. Always be your best. Try to be your best. Aim high and try and go for gold. Hello, my name is BKN and today we'll be talking about the four bees. Be ready. Be ready is about waking up, having breakfast and listening to your teacher. Be safe. It has been happening because of COVID-19 and stuff. The school has been making sure that we have been washing our hands and making sure that the year groups are separated. Be respectful. Be respectful is all about not talking to the teacher and not talking back. Be your best. Being your best is about not giving up and trying to intelligence yourself. Hello Sophia and I'm going to be talking about how we can be the four bees at school whilst this COVID coronavirus soon. So we can for be ready we can stop the listen. For be safe we can wash our hands and respect COVID rules. To be respectful we can be kind kind hands, kind um, words and we can be kind in general. To be our best, we can do anything that's good and we can tackle any challenges in classes. So that's all I wanted to say, so bye! Oh, oh I don't want to do my work right now. Seth, you have to be your best. <laughs> hey, you're a loser. Seth, you have to be respectful. Standing up on your chair is dangerous, so be safe. What will next? Wait. Seth, get ready for your learning, so be ready. Ready. We respect what teachers say. Like if they say wash our hands, we go wash our hands. Or if they say social distance, we social distance. We also come into school every day with this situation. Be safe. We sit facing forward because if we sit facing other people, then jams can spread as we talk. We also stay in our bubble and clean equipment every break time. Be respectful. We cope with this change by following the rules and listening to teachers. And be your best. We aim high and seek high. We try our hardest and we challenge ourselves. And most importantly, we have fun. Hello, my name is Janelle and I'm part of Pupil Parliament and I'm here to talk to you today about the four B's. First of all, be ready. Being ready is having the right uniform on and having a good night's sleep as well as having a healthy breakfast and you should also pack your bag the night before so that you're ready to learn and you won't tell your teacher that you've forgotten anything. Being safe. When there is something serious, like the fire alarm is going off, you need to listen to your teacher and follow their instructions. Um, sit on the chair safely, don't swing on them, um, tuck your chairs in, and also six legs on the floor. Um, be safe on the stairs and in the, and in the playground. Because of COVID-19, when you come into your classroom you need to sanitize your hands and wash your hands when you get a chance stay in your area for play don't break the bubbles which means don't go to other year groups and cover your mouth with when you cough be respect being respectful don't talk when the teacher's talking because you might miss something very important listen to your peers which is people you trust and your teacher. 
Listen with your whole body, which means don't fidget and don't talk. And encourage others when your friend needs a bit of help. Being your best. Always follow the four Bs. Try to answer as many questions as you can. Always have a go. Challenge yourself because maybe your teacher is giving you some work that you find too easy. So then ask for a harder one maybe. And always try your best. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hello, my name is Salula and I'm from Pupil Parliament. And today I'm going to be talking about the four Bs. So first of all, be ready. So having, being ready is like having the right uniform on, having a healthy breakfast in the morning, like porridge, cereal, toast, having a, and having a good night's sleep before you come into school so that you're ready to learn the next day. And make sure sometimes you, need, you can pack your bag before. And the second thing is be safe. When there's something serious, you have to follow the instructions. And make sure you sit on the chair's six legs on the floor because if something bad happens to you, it won't be good on the chair. So make sure you're not rocking on your chair. Make sure you're sitting properly on it. And make sure, because of all of this COVID-19 going around, you need to sanitize your hands every time you come in. Don't break your bubbles, wash your hands and stay in your area and you have to be respectful through, through everyone else around us. Okay, now we're going to talk about being respectful. Don't talk when the teacher is talking because that is very rude. Listen to your peers and the teacher when they give you some instructions. Listen with your whole body and encourage others to do great learning. Now the last one is be your best. Follow the four Bs, try to answer questions all, most of the time, always have a go at stuff, challenge yourself and always be your best. Thank you for listening, bye. Hi, my name is Domi from Pupil Finder and today I'm going to be talking about the four Bs. The first B is be ready. Having the right uniform on is extremely important because it shows the teachers that you're ready to learn and you look smart. The second thing is having a healthy breakfast. Having a healthy breakfast gives you the nutrients you need to stay focused during class. The third thing is packing your bag the night before. This ensures that you don't forget anything and that you're prepared for the lesson. The second B is be safe. When something serious happens, such as a fire alarm, make sure to listen to your teachers and stay silent, just in case you miss anything. Make sure to be sensible when walking down the stairs, stay on the left hand side and make sure to and make sure to walk down the stairs slowly. The sec and the last thing is sanitize your hands. This is extremely important, especially during this time. Thanks to COVID-19, we all have to wash our hands and stay safe. The third B is be respectful. Don't talk when a teacher is talking. This, this shows disrespect and it shows that you're not focused. The second thing is listen to your classmates. Listening to your classmates is vital because you can always learn new things. The third thing is um, Listen with your whole body. There's no point in listening if you're turning around. This shows that you're not focused. The last B is be your best. Make sure to follow the four Bs. Um, the second thing is try to answer questions and persevere. This shows that you won't give up and that you're trying your best. And the last thing is always challenge yourself. Um, this shows that you're smart and you're focused. Thank you for listening.